Welcome to Indian Thoughts, Shining Wings Channel. Kindly tune to our website for hundreds of motivational stories in text, audio and video. I am Chas. Episode 6, Chicken and Bread. The couple live quarreling with each other every day. The husband was mostly busy with games on his mobile. The lady had to manage everything. For her, it was a very miserable life. One fine day, she heard that a saintly guru was coming to the town. She thought of visiting him for advice. She went to him and, as suggested, attended his five days of refreshment course too. It truly changed the course of the house. The lady behaved as if she was always happy. The atmosphere quickly changed from tight to loose. Quite astonished, the husband asked her what really changed to her. She replied that the Guruji knew the solution. The husband was anxious to hear about the magic potion. He repeatedly asked her what Guruji taught her. She replied, Guruji said that life does not change even if the master or the spouse changes. He said that a substantial change is possible only if the individual as a whole decides to change. He stressed on the rule that only the one who breaks his set limitations in the realization that he or she only is responsible for everything that happens in his life, he is saved. I decided to follow this discipline. Slowly, the idea slipped into the husband too. The change that happened in his wife was enough to provoke him. Soon, their little house changed into a model paradise home. Unless one looks inwards and identifies trouble spots in there, how can one improve oneself? And if we get all scratches repaired, it will help us to win unbelievable hates in life. Most of us are like the husband who treated his wife for deafness. The husband observed her for days and finally confirmed that she has substantial hearing problems. He very much loved her and so he wanted her to be treated without letting her know that she has a problem. The husband went to an ENT doctor. She asked him to confirm how seriously deaf she is. She asked him to check her hearing efficiency level. That evening, the husband stood 50 feet away from her and shouted, Honey, what's there for dinner? No reply. He now came closer. Honey, what is in there for dinner? No reply. He now came closer by some 25 feet and again asked the same question. Still no answer. He was sorry for the sad state of affairs. He now came closer by some five feet and asked again, Honey, what's there for dinner today? She however answered him this time, Amen. This is the third time I say bread and chicken. This is a common blender which many people go through. The more people explore into others, the more they lose their touch with themselves. Thank you all for patiently watching this.